Hello scientific brilliant people, how are you today? So today I am going to derive an expression for all the spectral lines Lyman, Balmer, Pasteur, Pasteur bracket, Fon series. So and this derivation is actually obtained from the Bohr's atomic model. So first thing is that I am just going to simply write down the energy expression for the electron in the nth orbit for hydrogen like atoms. So if you are un unaware about that please just uh, go to the link in the description and check out my video on that then you can understand this topic very well. So let's start over here is we have an electron suppose in a higher orbit and that higher orbit is Ek and this electron falls down to the lower energy orbit then as per the uh, postulate given by Niels Bohr a photon will be emitted and this photon will be having some wavelength lambda or frequency f and the energy of this photon will be equal to the difference in the energy of these two orbits right so the photon which is emitted will be having energy hf and that will be equal to the energy difference ek minus ei so basically ei is the energy of an ith orbit and ek is the energy of nkth orbit so electron falls down and due to this transition a single photon of the energy of difference in the orbit is released data are given over here now we know that energy expression is equal to minus 13.6 z square upon n square you can just check the link in the description for the derivation of the same now this electron this energy of the electron in the nth orbit having the atomic number z in an atom so this is the atomic number of an atom in which there are electrons but this energy is in electron volt so let me substitute all the values over here so ek means it would be minus 13.6 z square upon nk square and ei would be equal to minus 13.6 z square upon and i square right guys okay so since they both belong to the same atom these two energy orbits energy levels are of the same atom so atomic number is same for both of them now ek minus ei this is higher energy orbit minus energy of lower energy orbit that is equal to minus 13.6 z square upon and k square minus of this minus this minus this minus plus ni square correct so this difference in the energy can be written as hf so hf that is equal to minus 13.6 z square upon nk square and this is plus 13.6 z square upon ni square now 13.6 z square is common so hf that is equal to 13.6 z square then 1 upon n i square remember n i is the lower energy orbit minus 1 upon n k square n k is the higher energy orbit now this is the frequency or this hf can be also written as hc by lambda so instead of uh, this frequency you can also choose to write down the wavelength so hc by lambda that is equal to 13.6 but this energy is in electron volt so I am going to convert that into joules by multiplying this by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 and 1 upon n i square minus 1 upon n k square multiplied by z square right and this will be 1 upon lambda 13.6 into 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 1 upon n i square again minus 1 upon n k square z square and this h into c are going to go down here in division so 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second multiplied by Planck's constant is 6.62 into 10 raised to minus 34 in SI unit so everything is now in SI unit so 1 upon lambda if you solve this, this is 
multiplied by 1.6 divided by 3 is this number again divide this answer by 6.62 the answer is 1.09 095 but into this will be 19 plus 8 so that is 27 so 34 this will go up minus 27 that is 10 raised to 7 positive so into 10 raised to 7 and this will be multiplied by z square and this will be 1 upon n i square minus 1 upon n k square okay guys so we have almost reached to the climax of the lecture and as you can see that this constant is called Rydberg's constant. Rydberg's constant and Z is the atomic number doesn't have any unit. N are the orbit number they also don't have any unit. So 1 upon lambda must be having same unit as Rydberg's constant. Lambda is measured in meters SI unit. So Rydberg's constant is 1 upon lambda. So its SI unit is 1 upon meter or meter inverse. So guys this is the final expression 1 upon lambda that is written as R Rydberg's constant multiplied by Z square 1 upon N I square minus 1 upon N K square but you have to be very careful that this N I square is basically the higher orbit and higher orbits are always written at the end and this is the lower orbit. So if you select Z as 1 then we would be talking about the hydrogen atom itself. So now let's write down the equation for Lyman bracket and Parsian and all those series is. So let's continue our discussion. So now since we have obtained the expression for the wavelength of the electromagnetic waves which are being emitted when electron does any kind of transition from the upper level to the lower energy level. So here suppose if an electron does a transition from any higher orbit to shell number 1. So the photons which are emitted will be classified under Lyman series. So they are all wavelengths would be under Lyman series and if you find their wavelengths they are in ultraviolet spectrum and this is kept in mind while we make Z is equal to 1 for hydrogen atom. So whatever we are discussing is for Z is equal to 1 and for Z is equal to 1 all transitions from any other orbits to shell number 1 will lead to the photon formation and that photon which will be emitted will be of UV spectrum right and so if you find its wavelength it will be in the UV spectrum but all those uh, wavelengths are classified under Lyman series but if all the electrons from the higher orbit if they jump down to the second orbit and the photons emitted their wavelength will be corresponding to visible range and they are all classified under Bama series then these all passion bracket fund and Humphrey series they are in infrared and far infrared region right. So let us write the expression so we have already derived this expression and I have already told you that this is the initial this is the smaller orbit and this is higher orbit. So let me write an expression for the same. So if you want to write down the Lyman series expression it would be for the wavelength so it would be 1 upon lambda that will be equal to r times z square if we select z is equal to 1 then we are talking about the hydrogen atom and this is because since all the electrons from any other higher orbits would be falling in the first orbit so I should write down 1 square minus 1 upon n square this n can be 2 3 4 5 6 any number right now let's write down the same expression for the Balmer series so it would be 1 upon lambda that will be equal to r times z square 1 upon 2 square because all the electrons are falling in 2 square minus 1 upon again n square here the value of n let me specify can be 3 4 till infinity here the value of n can be from 2 3 till infinity. So if you write the expression for the partial series 1 upon lambda that will be equal to r times z square 
1 upon 3 square minus 1 upon n square n can be 4 5 till infinity any value bracket series all electrons from the higher orbit they fall into the fourth orbit the value of n can be 5 6 till infinity now for the font series all electrons they fall in fifth orbit so r times z square 1 upon 5 square minus 1 upon n square n can be equal to 6 7 till infinity last is Humphrey series 1 upon lambda that is equal to r times z square 6 square minus 1 upon n square and can take any values greater than 6. So guys hopefully you have understood and for hydrogen atom I will take z as 1 in all the cases then all the wavelengths for different different these values over here the wavelengths would be corresponding to ultraviolet spectrum here visible spectrum here infrared and far infrared part. So guys hopefully you have understood the entire concept please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thank you for watching the video.